So I was looking through Facebook the other day, right? And um, I, went, look, I looked at a friend post and I looked through the comments, right? And one of the names looked familiar. I was like, hmm, I'm just going to call her Harriet, right? So I see the name Harriet. I look, now Harriet last name is different from what I remember from being. I look and I'm, I'm really looking at her and I did a little research, typed up the name on Google and I say, oh my God, it is her. My childhood bully. I saw my childhood bully on days. Oh my God, this, this girl, but she's a woman now. She is, I don't know, she in her 40s. We all in our 40s now, girl. Um, wow, this is like in like grade school, like seventh, I'm gonna say six, seven, about seventh and eighth grade, sixth grade two. I mean, I guess she got married or whatever like that. She had kids. And this is that, this woman, let me go into some of the stuff she used to do. Like, we were okay. I didn't really know her, know her like that. Because we didn't have the same teacher until we got into, let me think. We had the same teacher in this year. To the sixth grade. Right? We were cool up to that point. So apparently she had this best friend. I didn't know it was our best friend. For some reason, her best friend didn't like me. She used to like, say little mean stuff to me. You know, I was kind of like, I wasn't very popular in school. Well, I didn't think so. Some people thought I was, but I, I don't see why. I wasn't very popular. I was like the eyeball. I was like the geek. You know what I mean? Um, the odd one, whatever. The nerdy one, that geek when I was called geek, nerd, all that other stuff. <clears throat> well, anyway, she used to always speak to me. And she wore glasses, too. She, but then she would look nerdy to me. Like, nah, you know, people gravitated to her more than me. And I was very quiet when I was in school. I was quiet. People didn't really, really know me. Especially back then, I knew I was very quiet and reserved. So, I would always be back. Until one time, we got to talking. And then I said, you know, I don't like that girl. Like, I went to the girl that, used to, that you know, talk shit about me. And she said, who? And this is called her... Um, this is called her... Sheena, right? I was like, I don't like Sheena because she said this, that, this, like some mean stuff to me, blah, blah. I forgot exactly what I told her, but little did I know. Um, was that Harriet? That's the name I gave my bully? Harriet, that's her friend. I mean, they were best friends. So she was just asking me little questions to see what I was going to say. Next thing you know, I see them two together like the following day. She just starts snapping on me like Harriet just starts snapping on me like this and that and that's my best friend and I don't like you and blah blah blah. I mean like ever since that day, it was like she had it in for me. She really did. She had it in for me. She like she kicked me in my shins doing like the, um, when we had like the science science fair. I made a mistake and stepped on her foot by accident, right? I tried my best to just stay out her way, but she obviously didn't like me. So we in the gymnasium and I made a mistake and I, you know, I was looking at something and I made a mistake and I stepped on her foot. I think she purposely walked up on me so I can step on her foot. Because I didn't see her. She saw me. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I said, oh, I'm sorry. 
and I moved on to the next boo. Why the bitch follow me? Her and Sheena was together. Why they follow me? And she kicked me, right? She kicked me right in my freaking shin. And she was like, and nah, and you step on my foot and blah, 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 blah. Like going the fuck off on me. And I looked. I was about to kick her in her gosh darn stomach. And I looked, and the principal was directly behind her. The principal didn't see her kick me. But if I would have did something to her, I would have got in trouble. I would have looked like the aggressor. I said, oh, this trying to set me up. So I said, okay. I held my peace. I walked away. She was acting like she was going to fight me. She was shoving her chair in the um in the classroom like yeah I, I just kept my cool i guess which what made her scared was when she shook like wait, when she shoved the table to the desk she must have thought i was gonna jump i was writing i was doing something and she was like to my right side and she was like yeah you know after school this and that and she shoved the table I stopped what I was doing. I just looked at her like this. I was quiet. I was like, but in my mind, I was all set effing her up. She left. She left early. I literally, I was so mad because when you've been humiliated, like she would like do little stuff and try to embarrass me in front of everybody. Sometimes people have enough, you know what I'm saying? I literally went outside looking around the school for her, walking all around the school looking for her. Little did she know I was looking for her. I was ready to fight because it was that bad. But she left early for some reason, right? She comes to school the next day. Um, I was like passing out the paper to the students. The teacher gave me some paper to pass around the students. And I got to her desk. And I looked at her. I ain't say nothing. She going to say, you lucky I had to leave early because I had to take my sisters to the doctor. I was like, yeah, she was scared. She was like, and you need to wear a bra. I was like, I was quiet. Like I said, I, was, I wasn't I was very confrontational back then. I didn't like to confront people. I wasn't very confrontational or anything like that when I was a child. You need to wear a You know, it was like little shit like that. And I was like, this is just scared of me. And then what makes it so bad is. The, the the girl, what's on Harriet? She's low key crazy because she only act like that before the people. But when it's just us, she act like we cool. That's crazy, right? She act like we're real cool. Like sometimes, um, when our teacher uh, was absent and they can't, they don't have a sub. Sometimes they used to break us up in different classes. For some reason, we got paired together to go to this class, right? I think it was Mr. Smith class. And we had to talking, and I was cracking jokes. She said, oh, you're really funny. I didn't know you was that funny laughing. She laughed at my jokes. But then when her friends, when her buddies come back, or when her buddies is around, it's that, it's don't talk to me. Don't stay near me. I don't know you. She got like a split freaking personality. And then by the time I got to the eighth grade, thank God she ended up in another class. I was so freaking happy she ended up somewhere else. And then um, plus to make it even better, she moved. She moved away. She went to a, She moved to another city, right? The last time I saw her in the school, she was outside the gate. I guess her, her parents came to pick up some paperwork, and 
I was standing doing re- it was recess and some of the people she was cool with went to the gate. She was on the other side of the gate to talk to her, right? And I was standing against the wall and I saw her and she saw me. And I think she said something to me because whomever she was talking to, they kept looking at me. And I think she said something about me. I said, if she called me over there, I don't got nothing to say to her. I don't want, I don't want to go over there. She want to talk to me, it's going to be face to face. Ain't going to be through no gate so she could spit on me or do something crazy. So, um, you know, spit on me or run or something, do something stupid. So, that was the last time I saw her at the school. And I was like, good riddance. Good with it. Bye bye's. Bye bye's. Because I know you're really afraid of me. I know you scared of me. That's what I was, you know, thinking, whatever, like that. She had to be. Because it was like after that, she wouldn't talk about fighting me because I, I didn't show no fear. It was like something clicked to me and I just didn't show no fear. I would just look, I would give her like a cold. When what you know, like General Hospital, um, Jason Quarterman, when he he gave you that stare, you call him any name in the book. He'll give you that step, but don't sleep with Justin Quarterman will freaking take you out in a second. <laughs> he was crazy. But you could say anything you want and he'll give you that scare. I kind of gave her that slight Jason Quarterman look. Like, bitch, I'm not scared of you. I don't fear you. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm pissed. Don't push those buttons because you might end up in the hospital. But I don't fear you. But anyway, that was the last time I saw her in the school. Now, the last, last time I saw her was she moved. She moved to the next town for me, right? I think she moved to East Orange. And I, uh, me, my dad, my mom, we went to go visit. My, co- my cousin happened to live. Right around, like, down a block from where she lived at. She spotted me. And I guess she knew not to do nothing stupid. So, she coming up to me like, we cool. She said, hey, I looked at her like, hey, you know, I didn't tell my mom what was going on and stuff like that about the bullying. I just didn't tell her nothing but, um. I think I told my cousin. My cousin is an older woman. My, she's oh, She was like in her 20s then. But I think I told her. Because we were pretty close at the time. So she was like, hey. I said, hey. We talked briefly. She said, what you doing here? I said, I'm here uh, visiting my cousin. She said, oh, well, you know, I live around here. I guess she was new. And she probably, she didn't know my cousin was a grown woman. She probably thought my cousin was like my age and teenage and, shit and stuff like that. So she trying to play that cool role thinking she might, you know, get her ass kicked. Because she just moved around there. My cousin been like lived around there for a minute. You know, that's her stop. That's her area. That's her stopping ground. So but she don't know what my cousin. Because my cousin, I think we was outside. We was about to go inside to see her, but. She spotted me. And I look I look like, hey, like, oh, well, what you doing here? I'm like, I'm here to visit my cousin. She said, Oh, well, I live around here. I said, okay. She said, Oh, it was nice seeing you. I said, mm-hmm. I didn't want to get no alarm that something was going on. And I guess she wasn't dumb enough. To try something while my friend family was there. So, you know, she played, she played a cool. I said, Yeah, my cousin live here. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, I gotta go, y'all. Hubby just came home, so I taught you guys later. But that was the last time I saw her. And now I see her again on Facebook. Hold on just a minute. Let me pause this.